SQL database. Now let me run this. To run this, go to run NAS and just click run NAS Java application and wait for the confirmation. Here it is. So this is the query which is executed just now. We can see here this is uh, printing from this uh, line system dot 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 printer line ps, which means which it will uh, give you the query there. Okay. Now let's go to the command prompt again and open the command prompt so our database name was you can see here in the connection class the database name was crud so just put u crud and show tables to see all the tables so there is a table name user so select star from user we can see here the value has been inserted now let me try one more uh, i'm giving it as uh, number two and I'm just giving it as a Java and it's uh, Java gmail.com and again if I'm running this program you can see here the query here now if I'm just uh, uh, taking that select query again you can see here the second data has been inserted so the create data process has been completed now let's go for the read and uh, update and delete process okay now <clears throat> let me copy paste the same uh, method here and I am uh, updating one of the method as read data and uh, previously there won't be uh, any arguments with this one so let me remove uh, the other arguments like uh, name and email id so we will be reading according to sl number and without sl number i will show you how it is so first one we will uh, go for reading uh, with the sl number it's like select uh, star from the table name is user where sl number equals question mark okay and uh, since uh, we need to get uh, the data back to a uh, result set because result set is an object which holds all the data which can be taken out by the prepare statement so we have to create a result set object result set rs is equals null and uh, again so if uh, this should be returning back to result set and this, it is not a pre uh, execute update it is execute query okay fine so we have to iterate the result set as per the data it is uh, recovered so rs dot next so we have we can print it like system dot out dot print ln mm, i am giving it as uh, sl number plus rs dot get string get string or get in will work but we are using get string here let's see sl number and same way uh, the name and uh, the email id okay so it's name and email id so I'll be yes. We'll try this one and uh, we'll give a one more system dot out dot and a line here so we can identify if there is more than one uh, result coming. Okay, so let me give a line here. Fine. Now uh, we have a, a uh, object calling here it create data now I'm going to call one more object let me comment this for some time we are not going to create the data again so it's like read data so the argument we have to pass is the SL number okay so first we'll try reading the uh, SL number one now let's try running this by uh, giving run as a Java application and see the output here it is. Uh, it's a uh, read the data. SL number one as uh, one is uh, this one. Name is uh, Jinu Jawad and the SL number is uh, sorry. You have to uh, miss it. This should be email. So for better understanding, make email itself. Run it again. Here it is. SL number, name, and email has been taken out. Okay. So it's uh, taken SL number one. Now if I'm going to make in SL number 
2 and uh, let's try running this again we can see here it's a uh, SL number 2 has been come now uh, we took it for SL number with SL number now if you are if we need without SL number like take all the values let me remove this one and uh, let me come in here this assigning SL number now if I am just running this one it will take both the values you can see here SL number is here SL number 2 is here okay so this is how we can take all the values okay that's all for uh, about uh, read the data now we are going to update the data okay so for that same thing I am just copying uh, the old method again pasting it here and the read data I am uh, updating is as update data and uh, we are passing SL number, uh, name, and email ID again. So we'll have to update the query here. The query for updating a value is uh, update, update the table name, and set SL number equals question mark comma name equals question mark and uh, comma email equals question mark where sl number equal to question mark okay so we have to set each value using prepared statement set string so we have we are going to set that one two three four okay now what i'm going to do is uh so we'll have to give one more uh, one more variable here like new SL number okay okay so first one is the new SL number and second one is the name third one is the email ID and the fourth one is the SL number so one two three four so we don't need the result set object here so let me remove all these result set things this one also we don't need this result set so it's not prepared uh, execute query it's execute update fine okay so we all set uh, the update data here so we had to pass the values here now let me copy paste this one and comment the read object here now it's update so we have to give first the SL number which one we are going to update let me update this second uh, second one so it's uh, two and the new SM, uh, SL number I am giving it as 22 and the name I am giving it as now it's Jawad now it's, I am giving Jawad 2 and uh, the email ID is uh, Jawad 2 at the rate gmail.com ok so we are updating everything inside uh, this row so it's uh, this one yes so in update data this should work if we are running the update data. Okay, now let's try running this one. Go to run as Java application. Here we go. So we have updated. Uh, this is the query for update process. Now let's go to the table and see the database. Here it is. So it was two Java and Java at gmail.com. Now it's updated to two two Java two and Java two at gmail.com. Okay. Now the final one we are going to do, do is a delete operation. So let me copy paste uh, the, the last method again get <coughs> the name as uh, delete data and uh, we need only one uh, argument it's uh, SL number and uh, we don't need this uh, the query will be delete from user where SL number is equal to whatever and uh, we will have one uh, argument only this is this one okay now we can try deleting a we can try deleting a, a row from this so let me copy paste this one again and I'm commenting this one and now we are going to delete uh, the row which uh, is having the serial number as 22 two. let's see what is error here oh 
okay okay it's delete data let's delete data okay now we are going to delete uh, this one with two two now from uh, just uh, taking the values from again from the table now let me run this and see the output yes the query has been executed so the data should have gone from there you can see here it's gone okay now we have just uh, set a cell number here we can even set uh, the other variables also like if i'm just giving it as email id and i'm going to delete uh, this one the last one uh, which which is having an email genu at the gmail.com so it will be like uh, email id here also email Okay. now we can pass the email id from there okay now the email id is genu at the red gmail.com so it's like genu at the red gmail.com now if i'm running this the query is executed like delete from user where email is this one so the last value should have gone there you can see here this is empty set now okay so that's all uh, about uh, the basic mysql crud operation using java and mysql the backend as i told so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all source code in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching